Welcome to the Words in Season podcast. My name is Kara Marie Morris, and I am your host. Remember, you can find past episodes, you can find more encouraging Words in Season on Anchor FM, Spotify, on Apple iTunes, Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram. Feel free to share it on your social media. Remember that every time that you tune in, that Jesus has a word in season for you. So the scripture that I had on my heart specifically for this week's episode is Romans 1.16. And Romans 1.16 says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. I am not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not trying to hide that I'm a Christian. I'm not trying to hide that I'm a believer in Jesus Christ. I'm not trying to hide that this is the lifestyle that I'm going to lead now and for the rest of my life and into eternity. I am not ashamed of that. And also, on the other hand, I'm also not arrogant about it either because I know that I'm nothing without him. I do not have all the answers, but I'm not ashamed to say, I don't have anything if it's not him. I don't know everything if it, unless it's him empowering me and giving me that answer. So I'm not ashamed of this gospel. And you may ask, okay, so what is this gospel that you're not ashamed of? And a lot of times, even myself, I have to ask myself, okay, is this you, God? Or is this just my culture? Is just the way I was raised? Is it because of the country that I'm from? What is the true gospel? And we can see that this gospel that is the power of God, the salvation of all mankind for anyone and any time period of any country and any culture that would believe. It is Jesus who personified this salvation, this gospel. Like it says in the Amplified Classic that it is because of Jesus he so deeply loved and dearly prized the world that he was willing to give of himself. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they were in agreement when they sent Jesus Christ to the earth to be born of, of a virgin, to be raised as a, as a man, a perfect sinless man, as he was willingly, he laid his life down on the cross for us, for anyone who would believe, as he went to hell, as he died, and as he rose again, and as he's coming again as our soon coming king. It is this gospel, not the gospel of what religion I am, or, or where I came from, or what I look like on the outside. That's, that's not what I'm dependent upon. I am dependent upon Jesus Christ and him crucified. Him crucified, him buried, and risen again. This is the gospel that I am not ashamed of. And why am I telling you this? Why am I so passionate about this? Why do I do a podcast every week where I'm talking about Jesus Christ? Well, let me tell you. In 1 Corinthians 7, verse 29, it says, Well, what I mean, brothers and sisters, is that time is short. And in verse 31, For in this world, this world in its present form is passing away. We know that every day the world is changing. Every day you're changing. Every day things in your lives is changing. That's one of the constants in life is change. And we know that time is short. And you think, how is time short? I, I feel like some days they feel like 10,000 years. Like this day is never going to end. It's like that eternal Monday that will never end. That's maybe what the past couple of years have felt like. Time is short. Because in the course of eternity, forever, that never-ending time period, your 70, 80, 90, 100 years on earth is so short. And God wants to not only love you in an eternal way and give you an eternal home, but he wants to love you while you're here. He wants you to know and experience his best while you're here. And it's so easy. It's so easy to accept him and to believe just uttering with your mouth, Jesus, I believe you're real. Jesus, I believe you're Lord. Maybe you think, I don't have it all together. Maybe I, I need to clean up or I need to figure things out before I can become a child of God. And that is a lie. That is a lie of the enemy. Jesus came for you wherever you're at, whatever you're going through, wherever your family is. He came for you now. And that is why I can say, I am not ashamed of the gospel. I am not ashamed to put this on my Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. I'm not ashamed to say that I'm a Christian. Why? Because I know that this message is the power of God unto salvation for those who believe. Anyone can watch this video. 
It can be translated into any language. It can be sent to any person on earth, not because of anything that I have to say in the natural, but because this is the truth, the absolute truth. And I wanna tell you today because time is short. The world in its present form is passing away. We're not always gonna live the way we're gonna live. We know that Jesus is coming again and he's coming again for you and for me as we believe on him. So why am I not ashamed? Because it is good news about a loving heavenly father that desires all to come to him. He desires that all would come to him. In 2 Peter 3.8, it also talks about the Father's heart for everyone, for all mankind. It says, do not forget this one thing, dear friends, for, the, for with the Lord a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. And the Lord, this is talking about God, the Heavenly Father, as you accept him, as accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, God becomes your Heavenly Father. And he is saying, the Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you. He's patient with you today. If you think, man, I've been running from this call. I've been running from Jesus. I've been out of church for so long that I don't even think that I could go back. I don't even know where to start again. But it says here in 2 Peter, in, verse, in chapter 3, in verse 9, it says, Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting any to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night, and the heavens will disappear with a roar, and the elements will be destroyed by fire, and the earth and everything done in it will be laid bare. Since everything will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people ought you to be? You ought to live a holy, godly life as you look forward to the day of God and speed its coming. How can we do that? How can we possibly live a holy and godly life? I know that I can't do it on my own. There's no way I have tried to try to live a holy and godly life in my own effort, in my own self, and it is impossible. You know why? Because without him, I am nothing. And that is why I am not ashamed of the gospel is because I told you at the beginning and I'll tell you again, I cannot do it without him. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ because it is the power of God unto salvation. That is what allows me to be holy. That is what allows me to connect with the holy God. That is what allows me to be in his presence without fear of judgment or condemnation. It allows me to believe that I have been redeemed, that I have been justified, that I am walking out this, this life with him hand in hand, even though, yeah, you're right, I can't see Jesus next to me, but I know he's there with me. And that is why I'm not ashamed. That is why I'm not ashamed of this gospel. And you may ask yourself, why did Jesus come? In 1 John 3, 5, it says that he came he appeared so that he might take away our sin, that burden and that heaviness of life, of sin, of not being right with God. That's why Jesus came. That's why the Son of Man appeared. In Hebrews 9, 28, it tells us that Jesus is coming back again. Hebrews 9, 28, it says, So Jesus was sacrificed once to take away the sin of many, but he will appear a second time, not to bear sin, but to bring salvation to those who are waiting for him. He is our second coming king. In Romans 6, 23, it says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So Jesus came to lift that burden of sin. We couldn't do it. I couldn't do it on my own. I couldn't make myself good enough or holy enough to be like him, to have fellowship with God. But Jesus Christ came to bear that. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God. God offered us the gift of eternal life, of eternal fellowship. And that fellowship starts now, the moment that you believe, that is the power of God unto salvation as you believe. The gift of eternal life, believing in Jesus Christ. Eternal life, with God, fellowship with God, that intimate knowing who he is, the Father, and all that comes with him, all the rest and the joy and the peace and the healing, the provision, 
the comfort that comes with inviting Jesus Christ into your heart, that eternal life, it starts when you believe. First, it starts on earth, and then it continues as he will either come again or when it's your time to meet him. That is the gift that he offers to us. That is the incredible, almost, it almost seems like it's too good to be true. It almost seems like it's too simple. People try to make it more complicated and, well, don't I have to do more and don't I have to earn it and I'm not good enough and all of the things that we come up with, all the excuses of why this gospel couldn't be true. But it is true and we've seen the proof in Jesus dying on the cross, being buried again and risen again. And you think, well, Carrie, you've never actually seen Jesus. No, but I know he's here. <laughs> I know he's with me. I know that he's never left me and he's never forsaken me. And that is the power of the gospel unto salvation for anyone who believes. It is Jesus Christ. He is the person. He is the personification of this gospel. And that is why I'm not ashamed because I can say with 100% confidence that Jesus is alive, that Jesus is waiting for you, that Jesus is just asking you to take him at his word and to believe in him. And he will take that wages of sin that was offering you death. And he, as you believe in him, he offers you the gift of eternal life no questions asked, no strings attached. He gives you eternal life, translates you out of the kingdom of darkness into his light. And that is why I am not ashamed to say, yes, I am a Christ follower. Yes, I love Jesus. Yes, it is unashamed that I will live for him for the rest of my life. And I will meet him again, whether he comes back before my life ends on this earth or he comes and gets me before that time. I am unashamed of my savior. I am unashamed of my Jesus and I will stand for him because he died so that I might live in eternal life with him. So thank you for watching the Words in Season podcast. He loves you, he died for you and I pray that you will receive him so that you can be unashamed of what he has done in your life that we can say together we're unashamed that he is our savior and there is no other thank you for watching the words and season podcast have a wonderful week god bless you